So, part two, um, we've got some awesome ceramics that are by Nicole Chung from Vincent's and some awesome ceramics from uh, Anne O'Rourke. Really cute little characters that just have so much vibrancy and personality. Uh, Nicole Chung um, works on the wheel with these and then he etches in and uh, I think these go through the kiln about three or four, t three times um, with different glazes on. He creates these characters. You can check out a artist talk as well from um, him which will be uploaded to our YouTube channel. Uh, Nico is a second language English speaker so often he'll make up really cool words um, to describe his, his, um, his work. Oh, hey, flat ginger. So, for example, this piece is called Mononga Choggle Long Connection. And that's because, see, there's a crocodile. So that's the jock in there. And there's like a monkey character. So, yeah, uh, it's a bit of fun. Coolie old fashion show. That dude is pretty cool. We got some Daniel Phillips paperworks. We got the bolted books. Now, if you want to understand and hear about the bolted books and what they're all about, then I would really recommend checking out David Boyle's artist talk, which is on our on our website. Yep, these definitely should be censored. She was a warm and passionate woman, but her husband neglected her. The weekend wife. Classic bolted book. And here's another one. When another woman ensnared her husband, she fought back with the only weapon she had her body. So these are artworks you can stick on your wall. Uh, honestly, yeah, David Boyle uh, explains his wonderful bolted books um, on the website, so on the, our YouTube, uh, from our Artist Talks evening that happened on Thursday the 12th, 2018, and that month is July. Here we've got Tim Cullinane, who works out of Whanganui, and a couple of works of his. And Fergus Collinson, so um, Fergus Collinson um, passed away earlier this year, but we still really wanted him to be included in this show. Uh, so yeah, um, he has had a long and celebrated career. He's got an amazing art book. He's got, um, he's illustrated a book and he's exhibited really widely. Uh, he was really the living embodiment of art. Um, so we're really proud to be able to showcase some of his work. Um, and we've been sort of helping out his friends with archiving and, and um, making sure that his legacy is preserved. So you can check that out on the projects page and you can, there's a link to his website there. Um, so yeah, opportunityarts.org.nz will give you a bit more info on Fergus and, and how to find out more about him. Lucky to have this amazing art book there, so... He had a kind of diverse range of styles um, throughout, through throughout his uh, career. Bing Utter Bang is the is the bottom piece there. Awesome. Uh, here we have Ron Takawa. This piece is called Rangi and Papatuanuku, and it uses an old shirt jacket and then uh, natural, lots of different natural fibres, and I think it's just absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I first met Ron many, many years ago um, at a market where he sells skirts that are just, just amazing quilts and just works of art, very colourful and bright with a lot of towel mouldy kind of influence all over them, yeah. Beautiful piece. This here is a collaborative canvas. So we have two of these in the show where multiple different artists have worked. So each panel has been worked on by a different artist. And uh, this is um, uh, from Aranui. And Aranui is, um, yeah, a vocational centre, as mentioned before, for for um, people with intellectual and physical disabilities. And, um, and yeah, they, they um, support them in, in getting out in the community and living meaningful, meaningful lives. And so... Yeah, we're really stoked to to be able to um, display this work from them. And here's another collaborative canvas, which is uh, from Vincent's Art Workshop. Um, so Vincent's Art Workshop is an uh, inclusive studio in the heart of Wellington. 
and anybody is welcome is welcome to go and it's free and it's got a pottery studio and a woodworking room and it's just like amazing and um, the coordinator there, Glenn McDonald, she always says that um, Vincent's is kind of what what the world should be, you know, and uh, where all people are included, all people benefit. It's something you will hear us say at Opportunity Arts a lot and we credit that to, to Vincent's. So this piece is, yeah, really stunning and it's got a lot of different artists or their influence on it. Yeah, a bit of a kaleidoscope. So here we've got Daniel Phillips' work. Um, Daniel, who's helping me out on the sales today, which is really great. So these are, um, yeah, some wonderful portraits that are done mainly with pastel and ink. And then this is done with a paint pen on a canvas sheet. Side face, facing the right. Face, nose, big. Of my ears. <laughs> really awesome. And here's an older work of Daniel's. Just awesome. We've got some uh, more knee holes here. And then we've got some amazing David Boyle's, mostly oil on canvas. This one is called Righteous. And in his artist talk, he explains a little bit about these images. So I think, um, yeah, checking those out on our YouTube channel would be advised. It's an entertaining listen as well. The final battle. Had people come in the gallery, so um, took a bit of an odd pause then. Uh, so, yeah. Probably would have been smarter to do this video when uh, the gallery was closed, but hey, we're doing it now, so that's what's happening. And we're almost finished. Here's another Johanna Grant Mackey piece. We actually got her to bring this down because she sold her two pieces and a lot of people were kind of a bit upset, so we thought let's add in another one. And here we've got the creation station, which the kids, it's been holidays, have just had a field day with. So this is a space where anyone can sit down and just um, hang out with friends, draw some pictures, um, yeah, add on to our canvas. And we've got a bit of a, a poetry game as well. And then we've got the street and lots of lovely people walking past. So I guess i uh, just really got these final ceramics to show you. Oh, hello. Look at that wee guy. This is my favorite Nicole. It's just beautiful. And we've got a Joanna in the window to really grab people's attention and bring bring them in. So yeah, that's um, that's the Opportunity Arts launch show. Um, we're hoping it's going to get a bit crazy in here today because um, we we have our um, closing party. Oh, how could I forget? It's just my bad tour management because this is a standout piece of the show, and it's by Jonathan Can from um, Palmerston North. He uh, works out of 94 Timbanawa NOA Open Art Studio, um, and he's pretty incredible. So, yeah. Um, this is uh, actually inspired by a uh, trans um, adult film actress and uh, trans advocate and um, sex positive uh, person. Um, who was originally, I think, called Golden Showers, and now it's called Tentacle Monster. Uh, and a lot of Jonathan's work is really quite sexual um, in nature and um, is quite, I guess, inspired um, by R-rated films and um, adult entertainment films and things. You can see there's kind of an orgy scene there. Always a lot going on. So it's wood-poked with... Um, it's wood-poked with... Uh, uh, with then paint and it's on wood scraps and here he's done it and he's painted over black and I asked him about that and he said that he was censoring himself because some people had taken issue with his work before 
I think his work is really quite wonderful and it's a really, really different medium and I think that he kind of um, is sort of working with a really interesting taboo of disability and sexuality and he's obviously really, really sex positive and um, a queer friendly person which is just fantastic if the world could be like that. Um, yeah, and, and I really I really enjoy his work. So you can uh, check out Jonathan's work on Instagram as well. Serbian Grey Wolves 12. So, yeah, I'm sorry, Jonathan, I almost missed you off. It's just because you're right in the heart of the room. So, yeah, um, I guess that is kind of it um thanks for watching the video and we we'll probably have one group show a year i think um the rest of the time opportunity arts going to be um supporting artists to to really get out there in the contemporary art world and get in other shows you know not just um organizing our own um yeah i guess this exhibition uh really just curated it to put together some of my favorite artists um wanted to showcase people that have um, disabilities or barriers alongside those that don't um, really putting the focus on the quality of the work um, yeah because that's what's really important so kia ora, thank you for for joining and um, yeah we've got like one more day to head on down here cheers bye